Okay, when programming inside of, of the monitor, there's four things to consider. The first is to make sure that the monitor is reading the signal from the transmitter. If the monitor seems to be reading something that does not match up with what's happening in the house, it could be reading a signal from another uh, transmitter somewhere around, it might be seeing, receiving some interference, or may not be reading the monitor so, or transmitter. So what we can do is reset the transmitter, and we do that by pushing a red button here located with a ballpoint pen. Now you have to push pretty hard until you hear a little click. Not too hard, you don't want to stab through it, but you'll be able to hear a little click when you push hard. And hold it down for three seconds. Yeah. Up. To repair the monitor with the transmitter, you want to hold the down button for three seconds. One, two, three, and then you'll see, release it, and you'll see the screen go blank with a little bar come up their side there. And it will do that for about 10, 15 seconds. And then go back uh, to its normal operating window. There you'll see the blue light, and then it'll come back to its normal window. So now it's repaired itself to a new frequency on the transmitter. So that's the first thing, is to make sure the transmitter and the monitor are reading each other. The second part is to set the time. You do that by holding the square button down for three seconds. One, two, three. Let go. One. And you'll see the hour on the clock change. This is a 24 hour clock, so push the up and down buttons to change the hour. And remember that you're in military time, 24 hour clock. Okay, push the square button again to set the minutes. Push the square button again. You'll see the blue light, you're back to the normal screen. That's the second thing is the time. The third thing is to change your normal rate. You change that by pushing the up arrow, holding it down for three seconds. One, two, three, let go. And now you can change it from pound or to dollars by pushing the up and down buttons. So I'm going to change it to pounds, I'm sorry, to uh, dollars and cents. We push the square button again. That'll cycle you to the next screen, which allows you to set the rate. So I'm going to use the up and down buttons to change my rate to where I want it. Press the square button again. And that'll bring you to a decimal point on the cents. Usually not used, but uh, you, you can use the up and down arrows to get the price exact. Then push the square button again, blue button, you're back to the first screen. So the third thing is your normal rate. The fourth thing that you can change on here, which may be rare, but you can do it in the event of pricing changes with time. If there is a lower rate that, that people can get their electricity, such as night, you can add that to this time, pushing both the up and down buttons at the same time. One, two, three, release. Now it asks you for a low rate. Push the up and down buttons to find the low rate. Push the square button to get to the next screen, which is the sense decimal. Push the square button again, and you'll uh, get the time to start the low rate. So let's say the low rate starts at 11 o'clock at night. Remember, you're on the 24 hour clock. Then Push the square button again, it'll bring you to the minutes. The next hour will bring you to the time where you go back to the high rate. Up and down arrows, let's say in this case it's 5 o'clock in the morning, allows you to go to the minutes. The blue light and you're back to the normal screen. So the first thing is to make sure that the monitor is reading the transmitter. Second thing is to change the time using the holding a square button down. The second thing, the third thing is to set the normal rate holding the up arrow down for three seconds. And last, if necessary, hold both buttons down and you can change a low rate. All of those instructions are found in this manual that comes with the monitor.